Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a first year student at UC and this is my heroism project. What is heroism? Heroism to me is someone who is willing to stand up for people. Heroes are people who you look up to because of what they've done for the community. There are a million different kinds of heroes. For example, Batman, Superman, or even your mom. <laughs> First up, we have Dr. Henry Anonymous. Dr. Henry was an American psychiatrist and his real name was John E. Fryer. He taught at Temple University in 1967 and he was a gay man. During this time, homosexuality was still considered to be a mental illness. Dr. Henry decided to talk about the subject while at a panel meeting with the APA. He was terrified of losing his license if they found out that he spoke out on this topic. So he wore a mask and a voice changer to ensure his safety. Dr. Henry starts his speech with, I'm a homosexual, I'm a psychiatrist. This was powerful. Psychiatrists looked about down upon homosexuals and thought they were less than. They thought that they were just their mental illness and they were disgusting and they needed help. In his speech, he states, most of us gay PA members do not wear our badges into the bayou landing, a gay bar here in Dallas, or the local canal baths. If we did, we would feel the risk of derision of all the non-psychiatrist homosexuals. There is much negative feeling in the homosexual community towards psychiatrists. And those of us who are available are the easiest targets on which the angry can vent their wrath. These are all of the pages of the speech that he spoke about that night. And if you guys want to pause and take a look at them, they're actually very interesting. This part of the speech was the most impactful for me because I, I think about how hard it must have been for him to uh, be a part of both communities and both communities hate each other so much, but he's so involved in both. He's a psychiatrist in one and they hate the gay community, but the gay community also hates the psychiatrist and he's stuck in the middle of it. Uh, and his speech was actually so impactful that the following year, at the next meeting, they actually took homosexuality out of the DSM-5. And later he revealed his identity because he felt safe with having people know that that was him. <laughs> My second hero is Esme Wang. She is a Taiwanese American who has been diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. I discovered her when I found her book, The Collective Schizophrenia's Essays, right here, good book. It was truly moving. She talked about her mental illness and the real struggles of it. She was misdiagnosed early in the book with bipolar disorder, which is what I've been recently di diagnosed with. I look up to her because of how open she is with her struggles. Many people with mental illness don't talk about the ugly of it, but she's not afraid to show it. She has shown me that you can live a happy, normal life with mental illness, even though it doesn't feel like it sometimes. Another reason why I look up to her is because she's also a Taiwanese American, and there's not that many Asian representation in America, let alone Taiwanese, um, especially in mental illness. Mental illness can be very taboo in an Asian household, so her talking about it made me feel more represented and not alone. I decided to pick these two specific people to talk about for my heroism project because they inspired me and they made me feel less alienated from everyone else. They showed me that there are people out there that are struggling with the same issue. Dr. Henry showed me that it's okay to be gay even if you're field of work where they look down upon homosexuals. And Esme Wang showed me that it's okay to be mentally ill, it's okay to recognize it, and it shouldn't be something you're ashamed of. 
these two magnificent people have helped me get through so so much and that's why the reason they are heroes in my eyes they were vulnerable for the world to see and that inspired me